We can talk now! I don't have the GoPro waterproof case. So, today again, we're gonna do a shark shield. The one that Paul bought me, we haven't, um, we haven't tested it out like the other one. So there's two small sharks like you saw, eight are big fish. So we're gonna try to attract them and see if this brand works. So yeah, I'm doing brand, Shrek Shield brand. <laughs> I won't tell them what one this one is yet until we associate with them. Exactly. To Sailing Gypsy Christine on YouTube for all my crazy sailing adventures. Not all because I can only capture so much. And traveling on a sailboat. Thank you for subscribing. Um, coral trout spear fishing. So I'm gonna make a Vietnamese um, dish. Um, I don't really know the name of it. It's with these vermicelli, white noodles. Very healthy for you. Very low in fat. Um, it's very good and it's very easy to make. Easier than pasta because it cooks really fast. Um, I usually make two of these, but it's lunch. I'll make two, one for each person. It's sort of a lot, but, um, and all you do is boil it in um, hot water, just like pasta. You can wait for the water to boil. I'm lazy, I just cook it. So I'm gonna do half sea water like I always do. Actually, I'm gonna do all sea water. That gives me some salt. Um, depending on what island you're, the place, some of the seawater is very salty and you have to dilute it. Uh, maybe a quarter seawater, three-fourths fresh water. But here I find that it's not so salty, so I do all seawater. Or you do half-half, just experiment because I don't know what your level of saltiness, what you like. So, I'm boiling it now. So use whatever vegetables you have. Um, I don't have lettuce, so I'm using red cabbage, um, cucumber, and snow peas. What I like to do with snow peas is just cut the ends off with scissors and cut it um, in little pieces. So that's what I'm gonna do now while my vermicelli, they cook really fast, so see? I'm just gonna let it sit there for a little bit. I don't even need to close the lid. They cook really fast. I'm just gonna do half lid. So I'm just gonna chop these and plate it and then wait for the fish. So you can't really see me chopping. So low budget. Um, I have to get two bowls. I love my bamboo bowls from Kmart. Two for ten dollars. Very pretty. So I'm gonna cut the cucumber. Any size you want. I'm just going slow. Match sticks are nice. So I'll just throw that in. Carrots would be nice too, but I forgot to buy carrots. Um, 
any vegetables. Oh, mint leaves, basil, coriander, herbs are nice. Um, oh, I have green onions that I can cut from my herb garden. My mint died, so no mint. So that's cucumber. While Paul's outside doing the shark show, I'm getting my hair dry after the snorkel. Beautiful snorkel. Love it. So the red cabbage. I love red cabbage. Anything bright. It's just full of nutrients and nutrition, vitamins, everything that's good for your body. And okay, the snow peas I just cut. And also, um, I had to use up the snow peas. I forgot I had snow peas in the refrigerator and I found them. And see, they're a little bit icky. I just cut those pieces out. And then so... And then my kale is sort of yellow and gross, so we're not going to eat that. So... So just a little bit left and I'll show you the vermicelli. So that's my bowl of snow peas, red cabbage, cucumber that I cut. That's all I have on board. And here's my vermicelli, probably overcooked. Um, you can make a dente, but um, colander, strainer, pour the hot water, just like pasta. Ooh, see how much that makes? Maybe, ooh, look at the steam coming out. Maybe I should have just made one. Oh, whatever you don't eat, you can save like pasta. Um, so just let it sit for a little bit. You can cool down with um, cold water, but living on the boat, we tried to be conservative, so I'll just let it um, breathe naturally. So let's see what Paul's doing. So let's go down to my herb garden. It used to be outside, but now it's in the bathroom the head see garlic chives and green onions aloe vera it's very messy in here I think that's a chili plant but it hasn't sprouted chilies yet but I'm excited we used to have other things but my mint died so let me cut some green onions and look I had flowers but it died so I'm going to cut that out. I'm going to throw it away. So I'm just going to um, cut some of these green onions for, I would, I'll cut this one. This is part of my flower Halloween present that my green onions gave me. And this was beautiful flower. I should have eaten it before it died, but I guess Halloween death. So that's my little herb plant.